not every spray paint job needs a compressor setup and all the equipment that goes with it. These spray cans can deliver a fantastic result as long as you just follow a few simple tips. Now before you do anything though, make sure you have the right safety gear. All you need is eye protection and a sealed respirator type face mask. But you do need them and you absolutely need to be in a well ventilated space. Paint fumes can overwhelm you quite quickly without you even realising it's happening. Now, the most important part of any painting job is preparation. If the surface is prepared properly, the job can look great. If not, you can waste a lot of time and ruin it completely. Now, before you start, take note of the temperature and humidity. Temperatures between 16 degrees and 35 degrees are ideal with humidity levels around the 70% mark. The job may not turn out as hoped if it's too hot, too cold or too humid. You also want to avoid painting in direct sunlight or in the late evening. Now in terms of preparation, the surface must be dry, grease, wax and oil free. All rust and corrosion must be removed and treated prior to painting. The surface must also be scuffed if it's glossy as paint will not bond to a smooth glossy surface. You want to mask off any surrounding areas to protect from overspray and always use a drop cloth or plastic sheet underneath. Now be sure to shake the aerosol can for one full minute prior to spraying and then test to ensure that the paint is adequately mixed. Always start your paint project with light coats. The first coat is called your tack coat and will help each additional coat bond to the surface. Follow up your tack coat with two to three medium coats and then your last one to two coats should be heavy but not so heavy that the paint runs or sags. Smooth even application is key. Hold the can 20 to 25 centimetres from the surface and spray in an even sweeping motion, overlapping as you go. Now be aware that acrylic can be applied over acrylic, enamel can be applied over enamel, enamel can also be applied over acrylic, but acrylic cannot be applied over enamel. And just before you stand back and admire your finished project, turn the can upside down and spray until it runs clear. That's going to ensure that no paint dries inside the nozzle and your cans are good to use next time. And just remember to take your time. No paint job can be rushed and still turn out well. So just relax and follow the process. And remember, I'm here to help.